Yeah. Hello, sweetheart. How are you? It's Tesco Mary! <laughs> Mary Byrne, congratulations on your X Factor success last year. We thought yes. you were fantastic. Yes. Thank you so much, darling. How has your life changed since then? It's been very busy, completely different to the life I had prior to that, getting up in the morning, going around to the shop and doing a bit of work. It's just been going, 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 but it's been exciting and brilliant. Everything I dreamed of. Oh, you are one of the very few people in this world that made Cheryl Cole cry. Only you and Ashley Cole. And oh, I my th- God. I know, and I think you made us cry as well. Your performances are just you're so emotional. Yeah, I am an emotional person. Well, yes. When did you first start singing? Well, I first realised I had a voice when I was about nine years of age, but I didn't sing until coming into my late 20s and then stopped and then went back into the late 40s again, my late 40s. And was it something you always wanted to do? Yeah, I always used to love watching the musicals and dreamt that I would be Gene Kelly's, (gasps) you know, leading lady or something like that, or Howard Keel. Which film would you like to have been in? Oh, I definitely would have loved to be in... um, Calamity Jane oh, or yeah. Whip Crack yeah, Away or, or Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. <laughs> oh, fantastic. I could have been, you know, Harold Keel's bride. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Mary! <laughs> rascal! I am a rascal, definitely oh, no. a rascal. Hey, you sound, I can tell, I can tell. Yeah. Uh, congratulations on the new album, Mine and Yours, which Thank is, you is, so is much. now available. Just tell us a little bit about that. Do you know what? It's number one in Ireland at the moment. Yay! I am so, so happy. I bet. And it's doing absolutely great in the charts here. But the album itself was a deliberate... uh, We picked the covers. We wanted the cover album because the songs I've always wanted to do. So some big songs on it, some soft songs that I never realised I could sing. So it's really, really a different album to what I expected to make. Mary, you know all the gays were behind you, don't you, when you were an yeah, X Factor? Yeah, fair play to them. I love them yeah, all. Yeah, we seriously, because each time we'd come on air and go, Tesco, Mary, she's got to win it, she's got to win it. And I was furious when you didn't. Can you tell us who won it? Because today we were trying to work out. I can't remember who won X Factor. <laughs> who won oh, it, Mary? Oh, my God. Who won it? it? It, it, well, it was really me, but they, they let the mass fella win, you know what I mean? They let him be the, the leader of it, but I was the winner. <laughs> <laughs> See, we couldn't even remember, but we all remember you. Yeah, well, that's good, that's good. Um, I was the one that was always crying. Well, that, that, well, you're perfect for what I think you should do. You were talking about the Bond um, theme in the yeah. way. Yeah. Now, what made you talk about that? Because it would be an absolute honour, and I'm a big Bond fan, and of course, Shirley Bassey, Tom Jones, oh, yeah. mm. Tina Turner, you know, they've all sung on the big Bond films, and I'd love to do that. I really would. That'd be an honour beyond honours. Who's your favourite Bond? Oh, well, I have a few, ah. but um, my favourite, I loved Sean Connery, obviously, course, he is yes. the number one. He's a very sexy uh, man. He is, and oh, you like that voice. Ah, yes. And then there was uh, Roger Moore, who was my era, I grew up with him. Roger Moore. Yes, Roger Moore. <laughs> but, of course, for me, the sexiest has to be Pierce Brosnan. He was just yes. so uh, sexy. Yeah, 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 I know what you mean. He had it, didn't yeah. he? Yeah. He had yeah. it. No, I love Daniel Craig. I think he's brilliant as well. Yeah, mm. but he looks like a monkey in those shorts coming out of the sea. <laughs> Uh, no, I don't mind his body. Just, you know, oh. it doesn't matter. So, basically, you like all the Bonds, apart from the one that was only in it for once. Yes, that's it. I love all the Bonds. I love the Bond movies. They're fantastic. Mary, do you ever go back to your Tesco's? I did. I went back on Friday, gone on, uh, on the 25th, to actually sign some albums, because that's when my album came out in Ireland. Um, and what was the reaction from all the staff and all the people there? Very, very proud and absolutely so much love. It was unbelievable. It really was. Did you go on for old time's sake back onto the tills? I did. I sat on the tills and <laughs> held my al- held my album up to the cameras. It was brilliant. <laughs> did you ble- did you bleep it? <laughs> I didn't. They wouldn't let me put the till on. Miserable. I would have bleeped it though. How long, how long did you work there for? Eleven years. Oh really? Oh my yeah. goodness! Did you enjoy your time there? I did. I started off in the bakery for a year, and then they realised that I had this type of personality that people would get on with, so they put me on the till, yeah. and I loved it. I would have queued up to go, especially yeah, to your till, your Mary. Aisle. Tesco's yeah. Mary. Yeah. And yes. what, what they should have done when they uh, got you in for your album is to get you to go on the tannoy and give a little sing song. I used to sing. <gasps> what, on the tannoy? Yeah, I used to get up there and just do it. When we had a big uh, electricity power 
strike. I got up on that and sang, kiss me, honey, honey, kiss me. <laughs> so, oh, the place was packed. It was oh, brilliant. Mary, I, I bet they were you. sad to lose you. Thank you. You know, oh, you've been pe- queuing up around the, the block to come to your branch of Tesco. Yeah, There's... a lot of a lot of customers, old, my older customers now miss me terribly, and I miss them as well. Mary, I was really proud of you last week. Can I tell you why? Why? There was a piece in the paper that you um, said that you had a lesbian fling at 20. I did, I did. And I thought it was so lovely, because the way you described it, a lot of people, like, keep that quiet, and you just said, yeah, it was a... Well, t- you can tell us the story. It was a woman that kind of showed you affection when you'd had a rough time. Yeah, I had a rough time. I came out of a relationship after four years and I met this lady who friend, we became friends for us and then a relationship started and it was, it was quite nice, I enjoyed it and I would never ever regret it as long as I live. And I think it's really sweet how you said that because it, it wasn't obviously a kiss and tell in the paper but it's lovely because it's, it's things we all say we, when we interview Boy George, he said everyone's sexuality is on a ruler sometimes you're zero, one or two and you can have one fling in your life. But of course it's still, you can. Yeah, and I think that, so we want to say thank you Mary because you, oh, you did us proud that yeah, day. Thank positive. you Mary. Yeah, very positive. Positive. Very positive. Now, can we can we catch you at all anywhere performing live? Because we love your voice. The only the only place now at the moment. I'm still doing the tour, but we are hoping to get a tour going of my own. You know, when the tour is over and in the middle of the year sometime. Oh, by the way, I'm actually singing with Neil Diamond on the 25th of oh. June. Get out in of here! In Aviva Stadium in Ireland. Yes, no. I'm, I'm a special oh, guest. Oh, man. Wow. I know. <laughs> just drop it in there. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah. you know, just drop these things in. It's great. So, uh, will you actually be duetting with him? I don't know about that, but I am doing a full half hour slot on it to sing oh, to, my, to the people out there, you know. Oh, yeah. Mary, how wonderful that will be. And I bet you I'm must looking get, forward to you it. You must get a real thrill from that live performance. Yes, and I, when I, once I sing live, the passion comes out. Yeah. It's absolutely brilliant being up there. It's where I was born to be. How's the X Factor Live Tour gone? It's been very hectic, but it's absolutely... You know what? I've got such a great share of people who follow me and give me such support. It's fantastic. All the crowds have been brilliant, no matter where we are. And have you, are you particular friends with any of the, the contestants from last series? Yeah, I, um, myself and Rebecca, we, we're just so close. Yeah. And oh, Katie. Fab. Oh, Katie, yes. Yeah, I put out Katie. She's lovely. She just... She's Katie. She's a little bit wild, and she wants excitement, and she wants success. And but deep down, she's such a warm and loving child. She really is. Do you know what? Throw anyone in that environment, we would. I don't know how you all coped. It's so much pressure. It is pressure, but you know, this the tour is different to the actual X Factor because there's no one competing against each other. We're all just getting along and having fun. And it is hard, and we do have tears and all that type of stuff, but that's when you're tired and you're worn out. Do you know what? I would love to have been in Tesco's when you were there, because I bet you said some naughty things on that tannoy. <laughs> yes, definitely. I can be quite naughty, to be honest with you. Now, I'm not, I haven't got just a black and white life. I have quite a colourful life. <laughs> <laughs> and you're definitely a glass half full type person, yeah, I can tell. That's yeah. me. That's yeah. me, yeah. yeah. Listen, it's definitely. absolutely great catching up with you. Uh, the no album problem. is Mine and Yours. What songs are on there before you go? There's a few of the big songs that I sang on the show. There's uh, Dusty Springfield. There's Silla Black, who I'm meeting today. Oh! You know, so I'm just so honoured to meet Silla Black. I love her to bits. Dusty Springfield's song, You Don't Have to Say You Love Me, which was one of my passionate songs I love. Yeah. My Life, Shirley Bassey. Oh, oh. no! Oh, your favourite. What a woman. Well, listen, Mary Byrne, what a treat. Thanks for coming on to Gaydar. It's been a pleasure, darling, an absolute pleasure.